Hello everyone. This tutorial will be about the first method for producing impulse high voltage. This method is single stage impulse generator. Single stage impulse generator can be used to produce peak voltage up to 250 kilovolt. Now let's see the uh, circuit of our impulse generator. This circuit consists of first high voltage DC supply, which is the first step to our single stage impulse generator. High voltage DC supply can be obtained here by using any methods of uh, uh, any methods of producing high voltage DC, such as uh, Van de Graaff generators or any rectification methods. And the input voltage here is Vs is the input voltage to our circuit. Vs is of course high voltage DC. Also, we have RS limiting resistance to limit the uh, current uh, or the charging current through the capacitor C1. Also, we have capacitor C1 is called the charging capacitor. We have also spark gap here. The spark gap here that was exist in the Tesla coil. It acts as a controlled switch. Also, we have R1 front or damping resistance and R2 tail or discharging resistance. Also, we have C2 is the load capacitance and the output voltage across the capacitor C2 because so it's called load capacitor here. And also, we have the test object. This test object that will be subjected to our impulse voltage and that test object or the insulator that will be tested under the impulse before uh, it can be used in the electric power system to ensure its performance against the impulse voltage. Now let's see the operation of our circuit. The operation of our circuit is very simple. First, the capacitor C1 is charged slowly via a current limit limiting resistance RS. The main function of this resistor is first to limit the current or the charging current through the capacitor. And the second mission is to slow the time taken for C1 to charge. And also the spark gap here the uh, stress or the voltage across the spark gap increases as the capacitor C1 is charged. As the DC voltage is raised slowly, the stress or the voltage across the spark gap increases until the air in the air gap breaks down. When the air breaks down, the spark gap now conducts and the capacitor C now, uh, the capacitor C1 now discharges into the circuit, which consists of C2, R1, and R2. The voltage appearing across the test object here, this voltage which is V out of T, has the shape of impulse waveform. Also, uh, resistance R1 will primarily damp the circuit and control the front time. Also, resistance R2 will discharge the capacitors and therefore essentially control the tail time. And the output voltage here can be obtained by using Laplace transform. We finally concerns with the final result of the output voltage waveform. Output voltage waveform can be obtained from this formula. I uh, repeat, this equation is uh, obtained by using Laplace transform. So V out of T equals Vs over R1 C2 beta negative alpha exponential to the power negative alpha T negative exponential to the power negative beta T where Vs is a high voltage DC supply here and R1 is a damping resistance C2 is a load capacitance beta and alpha can be calculated from this equations alpha equals 1 over R1 C2 beta equals 1 over R2 C1 so this is a simple operation of our circuit now let's see important relations of our circuit First, you should know that the values of the capacitor C1 and C2, charging capacitor and load capacitance, and the values of R1, R2, the damping resistance and discharging resistance, are chosen carefully and designed to control the impulse waveforms parameters, which is T1, T2, and the peak voltage. So, the, fro uh, the front, uh, the raise time and the tail time can be calculated from these equations. T1 equals ln beta over alpha over beta negative alpha and also T2 equals T1 plus ln 2 over alpha. Also, the peak voltage from the impulse uh, voltage waveform can be obtained and calculated from this value. Vs over R1 C2 beta negative alpha times alpha over beta to the power alpha over beta negative alpha negative one negative alpha over beta
also there is an important parameter which is the impulse efficiency impulse efficiency here describes the performance of our uh, impulse generator impulse efficiency here equals the peak impulse voltage vb over the supply voltage so the uh, result of this ratio will be this value so these are the important parameters of our uh, impulse uh, generator or our impulse voltage waveform which is t1 the rise time and the tail time and the peak voltage here now let's discuss the difficulties with using single stage impulse generator for higher voltages if we use this single stage uh, uh, impulse generator for voltage higher than 250 kilovolt single stage impulse generator which has been discussed earlier may be used for voltage up to 250 kilovolts beyond this voltage this single stage impulse circuit will be inconvenient for the following reasons first the difficulties encountered for spark gap for the switching of a very high voltage the spark gaps may uh, be damaged and the air gap between the spark gap may be always breaks down the increase of the physical size of the circuit elements especially the uh, charging capacitor c1 because c1 should withstand a huge stored energy as it charges from high voltage dc also the efforts necessary in obtaining higher dc voltage to charge c1 this point is a result of the previous point also difficulties of suppressing corona discharge from the structure and leads during the charging periods so the solution is to obtain the solution for obtaining higher impulse voltage is using multi-stage impulse generator or Marcus generator or Marcus circuit and this multi-stage impulse generator will be discussed in the next lecture